we have a mineralized zone here. You have a chloritized rock, which is slightly schistose. What this is primarily looking like is uh, a volcanic tuff. And then you have slight schistosity as well as chloritization of your volcanic tuff. You can see the uh, off yellow is the result of your sulfides. And you can see your rusty oxidized, your oxides. And if you take a look here, you have disseminated pyrite, disseminated calcopyrite, pretty much throughout the entire host rock. All throughout. And then you have these slightly altered veins, and this is where your schists come into play, right here. Following your veins. And you have hordes and hordes of mineralization. Basically solid masses like that of iron pyrite. So this is one of them right here. You can see it along the contact of these two rocks. And then it opens up there. You have another one right here. And then if you continue over here, you have smaller little ones all over the place. You can see the vein right there on the contact. But this is the one that we are primarily interested in because of the size. You can see at the widest point, it's about 60 centimeters wide. And it is solid pyrite. We have tested this and we did get okay results but we want to pull another sample which is more definitive of the solid mass vein. You can see there's some quartz there so there's solid mass vein here. Here is a couple of samples Heavy oxidization on the pyrite in here. And here you have a mix of sulfides and deteriorated schists. So you can see the coarse green pyrite just loaded everywhere. So this is just one of many veins on this mountain that we have interest in. This one has at least variation in sulfides. Most of the other ones have pyrite, calcopyrite, galena, uh, 